Welcome to Enterprise Life. Please take notes of the following. Enquiries. To check on the status of your policy, you need to provide your policy number and a valid national ID. Change of date of birth. Provide a valid national identification card of life whose date of birth is to be changed. Addition and deletion of life. Change of beneficiary. Provide the name and date of birth of life and the relation he or she wants to delete, add or change. Should a life be deleted because he or she is above the coverable age, provide a valid national ID card of the life. Change of address, postal address or email address. For change of postal address, email or contact number, provide a current postal address, email address and contact number. Change of name. Provide a valid document such as Gazette or Married Certificate Valid National ID Card of both old and new name Change of Payment Method Details Example From Bank to Controller Bank For changes to Controller and Accountant General Department Print out Authority Note from Controller website and present it to Enterprise Life after which a form would be given to you to take to your employer's accountant the form has to be returned, well filled out by your employer's accountant as well as your pay slip, valid national ID and two passport size pictures. For change from one bank to the other, you only need to present your new correct account details and fill out the bank mandate form at any branch of Enterprise Life. Benefit processes. Provide your policy number, bank details if mode of benefit payment is to be made through electronic funds transfer EFT, and a valid national ID card. For refunds, especially wrongful deductions, Enterprise Life will take the initial steps to confirm deductions. If Enterprise Life does not have records of such deductions, you may be asked to present your statement of accounts from your bankers or your payslip from your employers showing the wrongful deductions for reconciliation and payment of refunds. Death Claim Provide the following Properly completed claim form Death Certificate or Medical Cause of Death Claimant and Diseased Valid National ID Other supporting documents may include Mortuary Receipt or Document Letter from Chief Imam if deceased is a Muslim or Officiating Minister if deceased is a Christian Letter from Claimant, Deceased Employers Funeral Brochure Obituary Complete medical questionnaire from doctors if claim is on LTN, FIPP, LadyCare and EduCare, Living Plus, Executive Plus Plan. In the event of an accidental death, a police report will be required. Other supporting documents should be included. Any other document or report which Enterprise Life deems necessary to assess the claim. Benefit of payments from which clients can choose to include mobile money. Is the mobile money mode of payment available to all means of request? The answer is no. This mode of payment is available to only walk-in clients. Can it be used for both out of office or office payments? The answer is the mobile money mode of payment is only applicable to payments processed and authorized in office. Does this mode has a cap on the benefit amount to be paid to clients? The answer is yes. It can be used to pay for benefits amount up to 5,000 Ghana CDs. Requirements Clients should have an active mobile number. Clients should have an operative mobile money wallet. Clients should have and present a valid national ID. Enterprise Life has the right to put off paying a claim under a policy until all requirements as specified by Enterprise Life has been met. Sign on to a life policy from Enterprise Life. Visit any of our branches nationwide or call us on 0307-084444 or visit www.enterprise.com.gh.